As we continue to celebrate 50 years since the launch of Apollo 11 and man walking on the moon, we take you inside the Kennedy Space Center Visitors Complex Rocket Garden. Yeah, if you've been there, you know what we're talking about. It's a display of NASA's Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo programs represent, represented in Garden of Giants that pays tributes to the scientists and engineers who turned space flight into reality. News 6 and 9's Carolina Cardona takes us on a tour. The Rocket Garden is one of Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex's most photographed attractions. Here you'll see rockets like Juno 1 and 2, Delta and Saturn 1B, a launch vehicle commissioned by NASA for the Apollo program. The Apollo 7 mission actually launched on, an, on a Saturn 1B from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. It is the only one not to have launched from Kennedy Space Center proper, and that was the first crewed mission that launched in the Apollo program. As we celebrate 50 years of a giant leap for mankind, Dan Hawkins remembers watching Walter Cronkite give the news that day, when the world stopped to see history in the making. We only had two channels in Anderson, California, and uh, yeah, it was pretty eventful. The countdown actually started like the day before, and I was in school, when uh, Armstrong got out of the command module and walked on the moon. A day this grandfather visiting with family from Norway says was like nothing he thought possible. We were looking and we were exciting and we were so happy. It was amazing to see. A double celebration for Lee Edelstein, who was born on the historical day. I always thought it was so cool I was born on the day that the Apollo 11 took off for the moon. My mom's roommate in the hospital in New York where I was born, she said she should name me Apollo. Apollo Edelstein would be kind of a weird name, but uh, so it was great. Here at the Rocket Garden, visitors get an up-close and personal look into some of NASA's rockets, a place that teaches engineering, math, science, and technology in a fun-filled environment. Most of these rockets on display are real, though never flown in space because they were created as backups. These are rockets that were very much uh, contributing to the Gemini and Mercury programs. As part of the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 launch, a global launch took place for kids to try out their launching skills. For nine-year-old Dylan, it was a day of pure joy as he launched his first air rocket. He's always loved the planets and was fascinated with the moon and he's just been excited about the moon landing. He learned about it um, this year in school as he was in the third grade. They had a wax museum where they could dress up as characters and he was Neil Armstrong. It was very fun. Carolina Cardona, News 6 at 9. What a cute little Neil, Neil Armstrong he is. Yes, and if you have never been out there, mm -hmm. it really is something to see and something to experience. And you want to take the whole day because there's mm -hmm. a lot to take in. You need to give yourself plenty of time to go through all of it. Yeah, great shows, mm -hmm. great reads. Yeah, just overall, it's mm -hmm. kind of a great day to be out there.